This is Linnea Hoover with WMAR2 News. If you're wondering why I'm tramping through the woods right now, it's because I am on the hunt for a spider that should not be here. It is unnaturally large. Meet the Joro spider. The spider is like yellow and black in appearance and it has these silver stripes on its back. It makes a really large orb web, uh, about like 18 inches in diameter. These large, vibrant orb weavers are native to Africa and Asia and were first spotted in the States in 2022 thanks to iNaturalist. Not long after, they had their first Maryland spotting in this Elk Ridge neighborhood. Angela Chuang is an associate professor at Washington College. Her specialty is invasive species and arachnids like the Joro spider. This is kind of like the very first example that's showing up that you know, the species is exhibiting all these like classic characteristics of an invader where it moves in, it grows rapidly in population, like very, very quickly. We don't have a good sense of like what invasive spiders are capable of doing. Chuang is asking for your help in tracking the spread of Joro spiders. The Maryland population is a new and distinct one from the incredibly large one in the southeast. Uh, we are also seeing like isolated observations and so it seems like they are established in this neighborhood here in Elk Ridge. But you know, we've seen a couple of random ones and it leads to a lot of questions of like whether or not they're just they're also in between but nobody's reported them or or if they're just kind of like randomly getting dispersed. Because soon they'll be showing up in a neighborhood near you. We did a modeling study where we looked at occurrences of these spiders in their native range in East Asia. And then we extracted the environmental variables and projected it to North America to basically tell us what parts of North America have climates that are most similar to their native range. To our surprise, like where, where they are incredibly abundant and successful in the Southeast is not even like a very high match. In fact, there's a much higher match up in the Northeast and kind of around the Great Lakes. But Chuang says there's no cause for concern. While Juro spiders are venomous, a recent study by her team shows it has little to no impact on people. We found in a study of like 20 people ranging from about 18 to kind of in their later 60s that nobody had a, a strong adverse effect to being bitten by Juro spiders. And so it was like no, no worse than like a some sort of other like insect bite per se. Chuang says, follow your heart or your fear response when it comes to squishing these invaders. For more information on how you can become a citizen scientist and help spot these invasive arachnids, visit our website at WMIR2news.com. In Elkridge, Linnea Hoover, WMIR2news.